Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the commutative property of addition. So this property states that it does not matter which order you arrange your terms, you are still going to get the same sum. So let's say that we have the terms a plus b. I can also rewrite this as b plus a and I'm still going to have the same sum because as you can see I have the same exact terms the only thing that I'm doing is rearranging them so that they're in a different order so in the same manner I can rewrite so let's say that I have more than two terms let's say I have four terms I have f plus e plus a plus b I can also write this as b plus f plus a plus e and I'm still gonna have the same sum because the terms are exactly the same except they are rearranged in a different order so the same way I can also use numbers so let's say I have 4 plus 2 plus 1 I can also rewrite this as 2 plus 1 plus 4 and I will have the same answer because I know that 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7 and 2 plus 1 plus 4 is also equal to 7 therefore 7 is equal to 7 and our answer is correct okay so these these were just examples with terms now we can also relate the commutative property division to our um, everyday life so let's say that we are counting the number of students in our class so let's say that there are three students inside the class there's Alex there is Katie and there is Matthew. Now it doesn't really matter which order we count the students. I can count Alex first, then Matthew, then Katie, or I can count Katie first, then Matthew, then Alex. I'm still going to have, either way, I'm still going to have the same number of students, which is three. So as you can see, it doesn't matter which order you're writing it as, but the terms need to be the same. So like if I say that I have the terms B, plus C plus F and I say that is equal to F plus B plus A well that is not the same that is not equal to each other because as you can see I changed the terms the C and the B are staying this I'm sorry the um, F and the B are staying the same except in the second one I'm replacing the C with an A so therefore this would not be true okay so remember the terms have to be the same in the commutative property of addition or and then or otherwise the uh, order doesn't matter okay so that's all for this video and we'll see you guys next time bye